Learning English has become a key skill in today's world, especially for the younger generation who are eager to improve their language abilities. English teaching videos are gaining more engagement than we might have expected, and by creating them in a fun and engaging way, you can easily go viral. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create captivating animation videos to teach English grammar using Canva and ChatGPT. This is a highly appealing niche for parents, children, and even non-English speakers who are looking to learn in a more interesting and effective way. Let's dive into this unique and growing trend. First, go to Canva and type YouTube short into the search bar. Select the option with the correct dimensions. You'll see several templates to choose from. Select the blank one to start from scratch. This will open the editing page with short video size canvas. On the left side menu, you'll find more templates if you need them. Now click on elements to find the right clips, graphics, and other elements for our video. We'll begin by designing the template for the short and later we'll use it for a bulk create. Next, search for rectangle frame in the elements section and select it. Click to add it to your canvas. Then scale the frame to cover the entire canvas, making sure it overflows on the right side like this. To zoom out, hold down the control key and use your mouse scroll. This frame will be used to add different backgrounds when we bulk create, so ensure it overflows just like this. Now click on the frame and select Animate. Choose the B tool to create a custom animation. Hold the Shift key and drag the background to the left like this. It will create straight path for the animation. That's how it works. Finally, change the movement style to steady for consistent animation. We'll be adding road backgrounds to these videos, so start by searching for road background. Go to the graphics section and choose the backgrounds you like. I'll pick this one as an example. If we add it, it will look like this. See? But I'm not going to add them here. Instead, I'll add them when we bulk create. Sound confusing? Don't worry, just watch this closely. To add images when bulk creating, we need to place them in a separate folder. Hover over the image you want to add, click on the three dots, select Add to Folder, then Create New, and give it a name. I'll name it as Background. Then click Move to New Folder. I'm going to select around five to six images for the background. Next, choose another image you want to add. Click on the three dots again. Select Add to Folder. Choose the background folder we just created and click Add to Folder. I'll repeat this process for all six images. Keep in mind, some images can't be added to this frame like this one here. So before choosing each background image, make sure it can actually be added. Great. Now to find the bulk create feature, go to apps. I already have bulk create here because I've used it before, sort of, but if you don't see it, just search for bulk in the app section and select bulk create. Then choose enter data manually. First, clear the table. We only need one image column, so click Add Image, and it will create a column for you. Next, delete the other text column by right-clicking on it and selecting Delete. Hover over the image column, click the plus icon, and choose your folder containing the background images. Add one image at a time. I'll do this for 10 rows, which means I'll create 10 designs in total. Once you're done, click Done. Now connect this frame to the corresponding image column. Click on the frame, select Connect Data. Choose the image column, then click Continue and Generate. This will generate our 10 designs. Take a look at how they turned out. 
These backgrounds are now animated. Next, we're going to add graphic elements like walking animations and cars. Search for walking. The first design has a background with a school, so for that one, I'll pick this graphic. Adjust and place it like this. For the second design, I'll choose this lady in a red dress and adjust her to fit the scene. For the third one, I'll pick this element. Continue selecting suitable elements for each design based on the background. For this design with a desert background, I want to add an ostrich. Search for ostrich. And from the elements, I'll select this animated ostrich. Place it like this. Next, I want to add a car that drives past the ostrich. Search for car and pick a suitable one from the elements. I'll choose this one and flip it horizontally like this. Right click on the car and select show timing to display it on the timeline. Adjust its position on the timeline like this. Place the car on the left side of the canvas then go to Animate, click the B icon, hold down the Shift key, and drag the car to the right, making sure it disappears off the right side of the screen. Change the movement style to Steady for a smooth animation. Now it looks awesome, doesn't it? In this design, I'll add a bird flying over a bus in the opposite direction. Position the bird on the right side like this. Then go to Animate, click the B icon, and drag the bird to the right without holding the Shift key. This will create a freeform path for the animation as we drag it. Looks good, right? Make sure to change the movement style to Steady. Now let's add the bus. I'll search for a school bus. And from the graphics, I'll select this animated one. Flip it horizontally and position it like this. Now take a look. It's awesome, isn't it? I've decided to delete the last design since these nine designs are enough for this tutorial. To download, go to Share, Click Download and make sure to check Download Pages as separate files before downloading. Then download them. They will be downloaded as a zip file. Here are the extracted videos. Just take a look. For each video, we need to include grammatically correct sentences that represent the proper tense, adverbs, and other language elements. To do this, we'll use ChatGPT to help generate the correct grammar for each sentence that describes what's happening in each video. Next, we will add English grammatical sentences to each design and create a voiceover for them using CapCut. 
Head over to ChatGPT and ask it to make your sentences grammatically correct and more fluent. Take a look at the prompt provided. Then simply input your sentences in normal English by describe actions of each video, and ChatGPT will transform them into grammatically correct and fluent text. It's that simple. Open CapCut, where we'll edit all nine short videos together and then export them separately, one by one. I'll show you how. First, import all the videos into CapCut like this. Then, drag and drop each video onto the timeline. You can also use this plus icon of each media to add them to the timeline. Like this. I've added all the videos this way. Click on ratio to set the video size. By default, it should be set to the short video size, but sometimes it might not be. So it's better to choose a 916 ratio to ensure it's correct. Now let's add text for each sentence. Go to text, position the cursor where you want to add the text, then click the plus icon on default text. Move the cursor over the second video and click the plus icon again. Repeat this process for all the videos, just like this. Now go to ChatGPT and copy the corresponding sentence for each video. Then paste it into the text field of the corresponding video, like this. Next, select the second text field. Go back to ChatGPT, copy the corresponding sentence, and paste it here. For the third text, do the same. Copy the corresponding sentence from ChatGPT and paste it here. Repeat this process for all the text fields. All right, I've edited all the text fields. In these videos, you'll notice that the background animation stops before the end of each video, like this. This typically happens when using Canva animations. Next, we need to trim the parts of each video where the background animation stops. For the first video, trim the right side part from here. Position the cursor here and click the split option. Choose the split that deletes the right part. Do the same for the second video, trimming it from the same point. For the third video, follow the same steps. Repeat this process for all the videos. All right, I've trimmed all the videos. You can zoom out the timeline from here. Now expand each text length to match the video length like this. We're now going to add a voiceover to read these sentences. Select all the text by dragging your mouse pointer over them. Then choose the text to speech option from the right side menu. Select male voices as they are most suitable for these types of videos. There are also pro voices available, but from the free options, the confident male voice works quite well for me. So I'll choose that one and click Generate Speech. Let's listen to some of the generated speech. A boy walks past the school while reading a book. A young lady dressed in red is walking with an umbrella. They sound good. Now we need to edit each sentence to make sure it fits within the video. Click on the first text and use the Enter key to divide it into lines like this. Position it at the top of the video. Do the same for the second text and continue adjusting all the text fields in the same way. All right, I've edited all the text. Now select all the text again. Go to the right side menu and choose a suitable text style from the options available. I prefer this one. Increase the thickness. Then I change the font to Calibri Bold. Now the sentences look great, don't they? Let's check a few.
Everything looks good. A boy walks past the school while reading a book. Next, we'll export each video one by one. To start with the first video, select all the other videos, texts, and voices, except for the first video, and then delete them. Then go to Export. Rename it to One and export it. After exporting the first video, click this arrow to undo the deletion of other videos. Then right-click on them and select Create Compound Clip like this. Next, delete the first video. Now right-click on the compound clip and choose Undo Compound Clip. Now you should see only eight videos, as we already exported and deleted the first one. So we start with the second video. Select all the videos except the second one, right-click, and delete them. Then export the second video, renaming it to two. As before, Undo the deletion, create a compound clip with the remaining videos, and delete the exported second video. Right-click and undo the compound clip. To export the third video, select all videos except the third one, delete them, and then export the third video. Repeat this process for all videos, exporting them one by one. So follow these steps to export each video one by one. This method is actually easier than editing each video in a separate project. Just stick to this method for a smoother workflow. Okay, I've exported all the videos. Let's take a look at a few. A boy walks past the school while reading a book. A young lady dressed in red is walking with an umbrella. A girl and a boy are walking along the road while talking. A boy rides his bicycle, passing a student who is walking on the pavement. They look awesome, don't they? Like the video, subscribe my channel, click the bell icon and stay tuned with me.